What is good everybody? It's Irish G Knight Rider here. It's been a strange past couple of days guys, wouldn't you all agree? Enough about that guys, let's talk about today's video then. When I last left all you guys in the very last video, we was doing like a recap or show us our reaction to Kai Soy's video where he sent Deji a direct message. However guys, just last night, there was a bit of a shock for me and to most of you because for some reason, Deji, who is apparently meant to be taking a break from YouTube, ends up dropping this video called Reunion with My Brother. Me personally, I have not seen this myself. I mean, this is the first time I'm going to be watching this. And however, guys, we're going to be watching this video together. You guys have no idea how gas I'm for this. I'm super excited. Oh my god, I just can't fucking wait to see what this is about. So without further ado, guys, let's not waste no time. Let's get straight into it. Here we go. What's up, guys? It's uh, Stegy. I'm, I'm with JJ. You know, you don't understand how many people are fucking gassed right now. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you guys, but this is exactly what I've been waiting for for a very long time. Seeing these two in a video for the first time in what two years or so after they had their beef. It has really, and I mean, it's literally put a small right on my fucking face. This face here, very fucking happy. Fuck's sake. Yo. So happy to see this. It's, uh, it's crazy. We, uh, we talked for um, a little bit and yeah, now, yeah. now we're here. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's up, Deji? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You know. Okay, I saw him did you like fucking handshake, you like just up the good old days, you know, back when they were playing scary games and shit. Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to be this hot to but you gotta admit, you guys would be in the same situation just like I am if you're watching this or reacting to it live. I tell you, you guys cannot fucking disagree with me. I am super fucking amped to find these two back together doing a video. For all Tom's sake, this is exciting. Obviously, um, obviously you took it now. Yeah. At least uh, you, you know, Black Lives Matter and that. <laughs> every black <every, every, laughs> person rated that, I guess. <laughs> kind of. You know the reason why I took a knee, right? Yeah, because you were unfit. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was done. You were, you were yeah. gassed out. I was so gassed. Yeah. yeah. I could see from Vinny's face that he didn't want to hit me anymore. Oh really? Honestly, when I went down, he like completely like retreated. He's a good kid. He mm. he's, he is a good kid. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you lost an anime character. <laughs> no, 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 no. Huge respect to Vinny. Like, out of all the TikTokers, like I fuck with him the most. Yeah. Like he was he was really cool, and mm. he came off really came off really well. So mm. yeah, no big ratings, but he still lost. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh and two. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You know, guys, I am surprised that Deji's taking this so fucking well. I mean, I would have thought he would have been fucking not like, getting over defensive like he used to, but this is surprising coming from Deji. I'm happy for this. I am absolutely am happy because Deji is not like seeing this as an attack. He's not seeing it as his own brother trying to attack him. I mean, this is good shit right now. I actually like this. He started off pretty well so far. Who would have thought? Mr. On the feed over here and then Mr. <laughs> Mr. Journeyman over here. Oh my god. You know, most people when they take an L, they uh, completely just... Yeah, you know, revamp themselves. So uh, you need two, apparently. No, no, I, I mean, I'll, I'll come two back. Two L's to revamp. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back stronger. The thing is, I'm not scared to get in the ring. Mm. I actually really enjoy it. It's just... What's the problem then? It's, yeah, it's literally just the It's fitness. just the hard work. Yeah, the hard... I, it's, um, I'm too used to shortcuts. Yeah, I know. 
That's my issue. So, so and, that, and you said it yourself, you can't cheat boxing. That's it, you can't. So he has seen Kazoi's video. Fucking hell. And fair play to Deji as well for actually admitting to the fact that, yes, he's too used to taking shortcuts. That's exactly what we all wanted to hear coming from Deji. I mean, look like at Kazoi said in his video. Don't ever box again until you are 100% fucking ready to box because I'll tell you. Boxing, in a nutshell, is no joke, I tell you now. Once you get in that ring, then everyone's going to know who trying the fucking hardest. Like Kalasai had stated in his response video to Deji. When Kalasai said that, I immediately knew that Kalasai was fucking being serious. I immediately knew that Kalasai was being fucking real. But other than that, I am so fucking glad to Deji for actually opening up and actually meeting to the facts, yes. He is too used to taking shortcuts. But that's not an attack towards Deji, I mean. Other than that, I do respect the fact that these two are taking the time in this video to talk about it. It is fucking great to see. Let me tell you. It's actually impossible. Yeah. Especially if the guy is fitter than you. Lidge, that's all Vinny Hacker was. Yeah, he was so just yeah, fit than We you. knew he was going to come in fit. That's why the plan was knock him out first round. But... He he uh, clearly weathered the storm. Yeah, because fitness already will also bring you, uh, make you more durable. So once once the first two rounds are done, I was like, oh yeah. Well, okay. yeah. I mean, fuck Vic and what what are they called their fucking Vic's gym or like terrible terrible mindset, terrible game plan. They tried. No, well, I mean, I guess it's not all their fault. It's also your fault. Yeah. But okay, fair enough. These Deji's own up to that as well. Because I tell you, it wasn't just Deji's team that was in the wrong. It was also fucking Deji as well. But at the end of the day, guys, you got to understand it from Kaisai's point of view. Kaisai, at the time when he'd done that video, he was giving his brother tough love, man. Ola Jide, William JJ Ola Tunji just wants what's best for Deji. He wants him to succeed in everything he does. He doesn't want to see his brother fail. He wants him to succeed. That was the only point of Kaisai's video to Deji, if you know what I mean. I mean, they're not great, let's be honest. You have gone to them twice and lost twice because of them. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to badmouth them, but, you know, they, they could have done better. Fair play to you, Deji. I mean, fuck. I really wasn't expecting any of this from you. I was expecting you to, like, defend them, but fuck me, Deji. F Jesus Christ, man. I'm not trying to say this if I'm coming off as sarcastic, guys. I mean, if I am, then I'll do a part, Joyce. I really do, but at the end of the day. It's all well and good that Deji's saying, oh, they did try their best, but the thing is, they just didn't try hard enough. That allowed poor Deji to just get in the ring where was out of shape. That's not good enough, but again, at least Deji's taking accountability. At least he's owning up to the fact that he just wasn't in the best shape and that, yeah, he did gas out. But Deji can come back a lot stronger than ever if he trained more harder, if he puts the work into it. Maybe next time when he thinks about getting the boxing ring, I mean, fair play, he doesn't want to give up. He wants to keep going and fair fucking do to him. But he's got to learn to take this seriously at the end of the day. Because if he doesn't, he's going to keep taking owls. And fair play to him as well for admitting to taking those owls. Not just against Jake, but against Vinny Hacker as well. I mean, because of that, I do have some respect for Deji at least. I haven't lost all respect. I have got some respect for Deji. Of course, I I, I, I could have done a hundred percent because he did tell me to do runs, and I was always doing the bare minimum with my runs. Like you were saying, do a mile, do a two mile run, and I was just maybe doing like a kilometer or something like that. But then, who are you cheating? Yeah, I know I'm cheating myself. So yeah. that's what I mean. So like, it's it's not. I guess his game plan was for me to knock him out because he already knew the fitness wasn't there. The fitness should have been there. He should have just taken you out of the fight. But I guess money in it. <laughs> I just love how Deji somehow 
laughing as if it's a joke. Fucking hell, man. But Deji's gotten stunned, though. This is no fucking joke. I mean, that fucking fight against Vinny Hacker was a fucking shamble. It was an absolute embarrassment. I mean, every single YouTuber apart from Deji had won. And I'm glad to admit, though, that they decided to overturn the decision for an Eason Gibb. Because I tell you, when I saw that announcement, I was like, what the fuck? It was a robbery for an Eason Gibb. I mean, I'm so glad that Social Gloves decided to listen and overturn his decision. Because I tell you, I would never fucking go under them. Social Gloves, they're a piece of fucking shit for doing that. I mean, how much was I paying them fucking judges for that fucking decision? The majority draw. That was bullshit. Best believe it. <laughs> Whereas Vidal, my current trainer, they would have just taken... If it was me, they would have taken me out of the fight. But mm. I was like, you'll love what fitness they'll be like, no, no, no. I'm not going to put you in danger like that. There's just no point. There's no need. Life is more than just money mm. and fame. Yeah. So. Yeah, again, another true statement by KSI. I cannot disagree. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. So deal with it. I mean, they're getting a shit ton of hate now. Yeah, but well, <laughs> like, you go on the, the Instagram, it's just, hey, shut up, you fucking fat twats. <laughs> you're, you're shit. You're a yes man and everything, so. I'll be honest, the only person who really, like, if it wasn't for Dunya, I would yeah. have been way fatter. Yeah. Like, Dunya's the one who really, like, knuckled down, being like, stop this, stop that. Well, I'm good on her for doing that. She's, then. like, you, you can even ask, like, my Well, I mean, look, at least like, someone, like, someone at least tried to help you. And yes, fair play to Dunya as well, Deji. I mean, Dunya, in my opinion, has been nothing but there for you since day one. Even before you two got together, she's been by your side. And she's been loyal and she's been supportive. Good job for her for knocking down and keeping you from getting in the worst shape that you could ever get yourself into, eh? Fair play to Dunya. Shout out to Dunya. I mean, yeah, she tried, but obviously I always was like, nah, it's all right, it's okay. Right, well, that's the ultimate. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all up yeah. to you. I mean, yeah, big, big up Dunya, but... <laughs> end of the day it's you like it's all on you bro you are you and yeah. if you don't put in the work you're not gonna win <laughs> i mean you still got a fan base you still got people who love and support you honestly he should take a long ass break and not come back until he's i mean that is the f that is the plan i want to come back when you know you want to come back chiseled ripped yeah yeah i mean if you can do it and i know you can then do it that's when i'm gonna come back until then I'll just, you know, I'll just put my head down. Let's be real, dear G, right? Let's be real. I mean, this has got nothing to do with me. I'm just wrapped into this video, right? I believe in you. Your fans believe in you. I know you can do it. Especially your fans know you can do it. And your brother knows that you can do it. No one is saying that you are going to be lazy. I mean, with a bit of effort then yes you can put your mind to anything you can achieve anything once you put your mind to it you just gotta until you find that right you know you can do it i believe in you your fans believe in you and i'm sure your own brother kasai believes in you especially dunya ultimately it's 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 maybe, also it's, it's maybe like, fix your hairstyle what is a little bit no, it's just a bit basic, isn't it? <laughs> what was the last time you had a fade? I've never had a fade. <laughs> oh, did you know? No! Oh, man. I don't even want to fucking go down the line of roasting your hairstyle, did you? Because I'm not that type of guy. As much as I want to make this video entertaining, I do not want to even think about roasting your hair, but... Ah, well. Just this once. What? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I'm going to stop it now, but for real, let's get back to the fucking reaction. Fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Yeah. You, you've literally...
You got like, this is just dad's hair. Ultimately, it's all a mentality thing. I know once I get ripped, my mentality will change. Everything will change. You know your I mean? mentality changes when your mentality changes. Indeed, it fucking does as well. Lee's fucking JJ knows the truth. He does make another good fucking point, but come on, guys. Lee's JJ is keeping it fucking real. Like a good sport that he is. Come on. Agree with him. So, you training and all that, that's, that's your mentality training. It's not like it will just go, oh, my, once you've got a great body and all that, your mentality doesn't just go, oh, okay, time to switch, <laughs> time to be an athlete now. You already made that uh, change ages before. While you were fat, while you were in, out of shape. Yeah. I mean, look, you can still enjoy yourself, have fun. You don't have to be fucking ripped chiseled. But when it comes to a fight, you have to be ripped chiseled or you have to be in insane shape. You need to be fit. I mean, Andy Ruiz is still able to last 12 rounds. If you don't have much energy, a lot of times, just stand there. You don't, it's not moving much, just mm. stand there. Every time someone tries to attack you, counter, boom, and then you just preserve your energy. Throw a jab here and there. This is you conserving your energy. You, you just on him the whole time on him. Bang, bang, you know. What you said is so true. Like, uh, I'm an easy fight. Like, people, you are. If, if they want to just make a name for themselves, they fight me. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because you still got a big name. It's not like yeah. no one cares about you. Yeah, so. Confirmed. Deji did see the video. Fair fucking play to you, Deji. I swear damn, mate. But again, when JJ said that you're an easy fight, he's just being real with you. I mean, Kai so I didn't have to make the fucking public video to send a message to you. I mean, it could have hit you up in the DMs, but at the end of the day, like JJ stated in his video, public videos are the only way he was going to get through to you, DJ. But at the end of the day, that's exactly what he said. Come on, guys, you saw the fucking video. You can back me up here. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, because I know. Basically, guys, I'm not the only person, right, to make a reaction video. What I do was a recap and reaction. Well, technically. But uh, there's other people that reacted to this one video that KSI fucking made. The same way I did. But basically, I will call it a recap because that's what I was doing. I wasn't expecting to react to it the way I wanted to. But I wanted to give you guys a recap. But instead, it was also a reaction video. So, therefore, it's a bit of both, isn't it? So, technically, yeah. That can't be the case. Like, look at this. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, he's, yeah, he's been, he's been dope. What the hell? He's just too damn nice. And he's 18, he's a kid, isn't he? Yeah, so. it's crazy. And yeah, uh, I've seen, I've seen this video that, <laughs> yeah. How, what did you think when you watched the video? I actually looked, I, I loved it. Yeah. Like. I was, I was, there was a part of me thinking, if he thinks I'm yes. being negative, yeah. or I'm trying to attack him. Then I can't help myself. Then he, you, I, I, I was like, you've, you actually lost. <laughs> like, you're actually gone. Yeah. No, it was actually really good. So when I didn't see you tweet or make an instant video, mm. I was like, okay, he's actually listened. That is exactly what I was expecting Deji to do. I was expecting Deji to make a public YouTube video saying, oh, okay, so I was attacking me again, and blah, blah, blah. I was expecting to go down that road, but unfortunately, right, because Deji didn't do that, he did listen. And fair play to Deji for taking like a fucking sport. I mean, I can't knock him, because that's exactly what was going from my mind. I was thinking, oh, no, he's going to fucking make a fucking public YouTube video. Good off at his brother, but... For once, Deji didn't do that. He never did. Fucking fair play to the kid. This is why I've got more respect for Deji now than what I ever did. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, like, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to clown on you. Cotton fields thing. After that loss, I slept and I had a dream about me being in cotton field. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I yeah, I admit that part did get me when Kyle brought up about the Cornfields. I mean, I didn't want to bring up in my video because I didn't want to come off as if I was being racist, but yeah, that did get me. I was like, what? That's the whole reason why I didn't mention it because I didn't want to come off as if I was being racist or anything. I didn't want to mention that stuff, guys, because technically, 
I'm not a racist. I would never bring stuff like up. Because, you know, I'm not that race. You know what I'm saying? I gotta got clown you, bro. It is what it is. Like, I'm, I'm still gonna, you know, make jokes here and there, but... You came out looking like Mike Tyson and ended up looking like Solomon in 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> looking like Mike Tyson and looking like Solomon. Yeah, Solomon in 12 <laughs> Years a Slave, bro. <laughs> Shit, man. Again, in my last video, I did mention the fact that KSI could be making jokes roasting Deji. Basically, yes, I was right that JJ was in one way claimed Deji. Fair enough, I knew at the time that KSI was cracking a bit of jokes here and there. This is why I brought that up as well. So, yeah, in one sense, I was right. I was right the whole time. Oh, so that towel was dead. <laughs> Where did you find the towel? Oh no, that was Was Vic's, it in the changing room? It was Vic's idea. So, um, it was actually from the hotel. <laughs> we, uh... Oh my god. Bro, he was like, shit man, maybe Jesus can save you. <laughs> maybe Mike Tyson's fucking aura might save you. Wow. Alright, well, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. He's not clown on Deji, he lost and it's okay. I understand that he was not in shape, but please, Jesus Christ, look at me. You look like shit, fam. I'm not even gonna lie. You look like shit. Oh like, <laughs> it's yeah. just. No, I, I haven't actually watched the fight back or anything. I I just refuse to. Because I, I, I was just so disappointed. No, fair enough. Like, to be fair, I don't think Deji should ever watch that fight back because I tell you, I did see. And let me tell you, it was a disappointment. I was actually hoping for Deji to win that fight. But unfortunately, he didn't. He was the only YouTuber on the card to lose. And I'm not doing it to clown on Deji. I mean, I love Deji. Like I said, I respect Deji. But, you know, you got to throw a bit of knocks here and there. you got to fucking crack jokes here and there. There's no harmony. I'm not attacking Deji. In any way, no chance. I'm just doing this to entertain you guys at the end of I'm just doing this to entertain all you by reacting to this. So I'm in total to make a couple of jokes in there as I'm reacting to this video. I can't. I mean, I'm sure you will eventually, but yeah, all in due time, all in yeah. due time, no rush. Best response for now, yeah, that, I mean, that was just me saying I need to take a break. Yeah. Today. That, that's what I needed. Yeah. I, I need to take a break. That's... <laughs> This was really hard. Yeah, I was wondering when we're gonna get people clowning you. <laughs> well, that's bro. Same thing with Bryce Hall. Hmm. Bryce Hall had all this, all this. I know he's yeah, he's another one who's uh he, he's lovely too. I mean, I I know no. So realistically, let's be honest. He did he did sell the fight. He got you involved and you just boosted sales. Yeah, but I I don't know. I for me, I'm always just like just be real, like. The beef between me and Logan, it was real. And like, yeah, we, we, we still, I guess we respect each other, but it's not like I'm messaging all the time. It's not like yeah. we're cool like that. Yeah. Jake, me and Jake, obviously we don't fucking like each other. <laughs> yeah, that's obvious. And like, that's real. But that's just how I am. Like, I've always been real and I just... It's just easy to be real. Yeah. So when you said you train five times a day, then... No, that five times a day was in Cancun. But when did you say you didn't train McDonald's then? Oh, well, okay. So, let's just cross McDonald's off the list, guys. Free cheeseburgers! Is that for everyone? Yay! I, but, oh, so, you decided to train five times a day, what, a week before the fight? Yeah. It's, no, it's because... I, no, so... Where's the logic? No, but I no told, wonder you were gassed no, out. No, 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 I told you, though, because I came in. I, like, I went to Cancun... 197 pounds. Mm -hmm. So and then I had to get to 185 pounds. So I had to starve myself. Literally just pineapple, uh, green juice, which had like celery, all of that, and then just water. That's all I had. Oh, for love of God! Please don't mention pineapple in front of Kaisai. I mean, I've seen the way Kaisai cuts pineapple, but let me tell you, it's fucking hilarious, man. And I would run every day. Like so many times, I go on the bike, cycle, do the ellipticals, do everything. I did all of that. Dunya even did it with me. Well, you shouldn't have been 197 in the first place. Yeah. 
Oh, that's close to my fucking weight. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah. We were told late about the what weight we had to be. So Yeah, well, then that's the fault of Social Gloves. But, I mean, Social Gloves, are I mean, ter- first of all, are a terrible company. The whole Gib and, um, what's his name? Taylor, Taylor Holder's situation. Like, that was a huge fuck up. Look, the the whole thing was just a shamble. Like, yeah, good on Austin for winning, but yeah, fuck me, man. That whole thing was a mess. As already stated on in this video, Social Gloves should never do another promotion like this ever again, because let me tell you, it was a fucking mess. It was a complete fucking sham, what they did to fucking Tyler Holder and fucking Anissa Gibb. It was a complete fucking train wreck, but looking off, they... Reverse decision and gave the victory to fucking Anison Gibb. Justice for Anison Gibb, I tell you now, seven figure Gibber. Big ups to you, lad. I'm glad you took the W. And Deji, you will come back a lot stronger than ever, I'll promise you. So, you know, this makes me look way fatter. Yeah, obviously, you're a little bit hunched over, but no, nah, Deji, you were out of shape. You had man tits. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you had man tits, bro. Like it was bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm, bro. My mouth was open. I couldn't believe it. Oh man, my mouth was open. Oh wow. Yeah, like because you're saying how much you trained. It's just you've done it all wrong. No it's excuse. A, no excuse. Yeah, I know. Mean, no excuse. It's, uh, it's it's still out of shape. It was just it's, it's from still it's just from obese to overweight, literally. Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Dead G, we all do a spit, but seeing you in that shape, you look like an alpha male, mate. <laughs> and then yeah, I saw this. You know, yeah, yeah, Gim posted something saying. Yo, Gib, Gib's lovely. Yeah, no, he's a, of course, I know. Gib like, is, he's a dope guy. He's, 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 no, he's funny, he's funny. He is funny as hell. He's, I didn't, I, he kind of like took me by surprise. Why? Because I, I think I'm hated by the whole UK YouTube community. And then Gib was Why? just, because of our beef. So I feel like people were just like, ah, oh, Desi, fuck him, man. He's a dickhead. So I was just like, okay. So that's why I kind of just isolated myself. No, no, no. Then, like, there, there should never be a situation where people just hate you because of our beef. Like, that's that's stupid. That's, well, that's, yeah, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. You shouldn't, that should never have been, why would anyone hate you? Because it's the situation between me and you. Mm-hmm. Like, no one should get involved, really. Like, obviously, you know, people like Keemstar or Scarce, etc. It's news, isn't it? And news sells. So they're obviously going to, you know, no one hates you, the hinge. <laughs> no, no, that's what, I, that's what I thought until, like, I don't know, like, when I saw Gib, like, he was just, it's like, it was like, whoa. Again, we all do respect, but, you know, Wayne Keemstar, Ran Drummler, gone about the beef between these two, Roy Kass on Deji. People must have thought Kinsai was being biased because he was signed with KSI and then it was signed Deji Lloyd in his fucking expressions, which he fucking did. And everyone knew it and KSI was telling the truth apart from one time where he, KSI did lie about the girl situation. But other than that, yeah, even scares covered the story. Fair play. Because, you know, it's fucking true. News to sell. Regards how it's done by fucking killer fucking Keemstar or John Scares. But that was just reporting the news. Call it how you see guys, but at the end of the day, for anyone to instantly fucking hate Deji because of their beef, it's fucking ridiculous. I didn't hate Deji. I saw him with a pair of them. I stuck by them two through thick and thin and I still do to this very day. I mean, if I was to just side with just Kasai and unsaw from Deji, that would make me the biggest piece of shit on earth. But the thing is, I've always been loyal to both Kasai and Deji. And I would never fucking be a fake ass bitch and just saw me one and not the other. If you if that makes any fucking sense. Hmm. Like even after my fight, he came in and just gave me a hug. Like, yeah, because he knows what it's like to lose. He was he was like the nice I think I mean, people came up to me, mm. but no one came to my changing room Yeah, to, like, saying he's the only one who did. Yeah, because he knows how it feels. 
no cameras, anything. He just came in on his own. Yeah, like, that's how I know he's like an actually genuine person. There's a lot of genuine people in this space stage. Yeah, there's a lot of cool, dope people. Yeah, okay, and obviously there's a lot of fake twats, <laughs> or just a lot of people who pretend they're one thing but they're another thing. But yeah, yeah, don't don't think everyone just hates you. That's just it's not the right mindset. Don't mm. always don't already have something in mind. And go, oh, okay, this everyone thinks this. Yeah. It's not always the case. Okay. Yeah, that's my bad then. Legend will not return back to YouTube till he has a six pack. Yeah, well, who's the sources close say? Who's this? Yeah, no, that's the thing. I have no idea. So I'm thinking you. I, do, I don't talk to Keemster. I know you don't like him, do you? I don't like him. Fair enough. Oh, come on, guys. It's obvious. We already know Keemstar is a very controversial figure. And yes, he does antagonize people. Just to get drama, that's the way people will instantly assume, right? But you gotta understand, Keemstar has done some fucking stupid shit. Daniel Keem has done some fucking pretty stupid shit. And I'm not gonna bring up every single fucking bad thing Keemstar's done, because I don't even want to go into that fucking detail. The amount of exposed videos I've seen people do on Daniel Keem, Drumlet, Keemstar, it's fucking... Oh my god, it's just so much to get into, but in the day, there are people out there to his day that have a problem with Keemstar. Look at H3, H3 Productions. He, to this very day, has a fucking problem with Keemstar. Name one person who doesn't. There are so fucking many people out there that don't like Keemstar. You've got Alinity, or a scoring gold. I mean, I can name a fucking long list, but also, guys... You can't knock Keemstar for his honesty. And yes, Keemstar has done some very good things in his life. So again, you can't really say Keemstar's that bad. I mean, fair enough, Keemstar likes to play his evil character. But again, there are some good things that Keemstar's done throughout his whole fucking career on YouTube. I think he's... Uh... I know not many people... Not many, uh, people do you like him? I think he's cool, but I mean, like, everyone's going to be cool with me. I'm KSI in it. <laughs> no one really wants to be on my bad side. <laughs> it says sources close say. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, look, either way, like, it's low-key true. Yeah. You shouldn't return. I, I mean, not back to YouTube. You shouldn't return back to boxing unless you have a fucking, like, six-pack mm. or ripped, bro. Like, you need to be shredded. My, uh, like, as soon as my fitness ripped, everything is just, like, perfect. That's when I'm gonna fully return. I was like the one predicted to win by a lot. Mm. I was minus like 500. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, holy shit. So I'm like, I have to perform. So then obviously I'm thinking I'm gonna go through Vinny easy. Mm -hmm. I've seen him, I've seen his things, him doing his hooks that like, no offense if he's watching. I've seen him doing his hooks, he's trash. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen him doing the pads, he's terrible. Mm -hmm. And then I lose. I'm mm -hmm. just like, fuck, man, I mm -hmm. suck. Listen, when he, when he was in the corner uh, talking to me, I was literally just saying I'm a failure. Yeah, we all heard. And he was just... He, he was just hugging me, like... So, uh, was this like the Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather thing? Nah, never mind. I, 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 it didn't make me feel at ease, but it also made me feel like, what the fuck? Because I love boxing. What See, was I the last boxing. fight you watched? The, la the last boxing fight I watched was Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo. Okay, what did you think of that fight? So, Canelo is disgusting. He was doing power punches throughout the whole round. Every, like, every round, and he just, it's like he, his gas tank is unlimited. Like, that's what I want. I want to be able to be just doing like huge bangs and just stamina which is not even depleted yeah Ditch. I don't think you understand how hard Canelo, I know, Canelo, Canelo yeah. works bro I mean, he that's it bro that's the thing like it's not all about I mean yes there's a level of talent but ultimately mm. if you're training hard then you're gonna do well yeah I don't know what other boxing matches really been on I guess I I guess the next one I, I want to watch is um, Deontay. You want against Fury? Yeah. Be interesting to see how Wilder's uh, improved. 
I want I I want him to win. I just want to see a good fight. Mm. I'm not really fast two wins. Yeah. Uh Taylor surprised me, but I feel like it was nerves. Maybe, yeah. As well as like Also Gibbs, Gibbs is, work rate was just ridiculous. Yeah, Gibbs disgusting. He just didn't Stop. Stop. Uh bring home that yeah, this no. was uh Yeah, no, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> that's a bit awkward. <laughs> POV <laughs> well, I mean, it, what video was this? Oh, oh hell no! So, so you, yeah, we thought it was this, right? It was actually this. That's what we saw. We saw. We just saw that. That's what we saw. I swear, man, this is what I like. Good fucking memories. I do remember seeing that video. I can't remember where, but I do, I do stumble upon that video in my recommends all the fucking time, especially with KSI's, you know, latest videos, but yeah, I do always come across that one video where fake fucking fail, nine times out of ten most of the time, something like that anyway, yeah. <laughs> well, bitch, balls in your court, man, go ham, alright, and... There is no beef between us. We've somewhat squashed it. I mean, there there was beef. I I do admit I was in the wrong for a lot of it. Yeah. I shouldn't have. Uh, I was. Th I guess well, I was thinking irrationally. Like so. I said, you can always just talk to me. Mm. Okay, I'm not some god. Okay, <laughs> okay? So you can't yeah. get in contact with me. Yeah. Like I'm a normal human being. Anyway, guys, yeah, it's been, uh, I mean, you don't, do you need an introduction? Yes. Alright, okay, well, this is with KSI, JJ. King KSI. <laughs> King, was Lord it? KSI. Is it Lord, yeah, Lord KSI. And, uh, yeah, take care. <laughs>